Hi guys, it's Betty. I'm here to do a really quick haul video. Um, as many of you know, I haven't done many videos at all lately and I haven't been hauling. Um, I just haven't um, been filming a lot in general and I really haven't been buying a lot of painting stuff lately. Um, I've been trying not to buy a whole lot of anything lately. Um, I did, and I'll do another video on this, but I started this past year kind of delving into some other things like crochet and sewing and accumulated um, lots of yarn and some fabric. So, um, I, <laughs> I, there's only so much space a person has and there's only so many hours in a day when you work full time and have a little one at home. So um, I would love to do that all day long and use up product and, and play and make art and um, stuff not a reality right now for me so um, instead um, I'm trying to use what I have other than this anniversary sale that comes around once a year for paper tray ink um, every year on their anniversary they the discount is the number of years that they're celebrating and so I usually take advantage of that. I have my eye on some things and um, Anyway, I'll just go ahead and get started with this I'm really out of practice filming if you couldn't tell so like out of breath and <laughs> nervous or something. Anyway, um, so this first plate, this I've been wanting for a while, but it had been sold out the past number of orders that I made. And so finally this year I got it. It is the linen and canvas impression plate. So I think you use like one of those um, rubber mats with it. And so it's kind of like an embossing folder, but instead it's um, just leaves a nice um, light impression and I really love the look of this linen that's really the side that I bought it for but we'll definitely take advantage of the linen too um, the next thing I I love um, die cut words I just love the way that they come out of the dies this one is a congrats and you cut the smaller word and then it has the um, the shadow too that you can put under it so I don't I don't think I have any others like that so I thought I'd try the ones congrats one that says thanks and another one that um, is hugs and these are really pretty um, I'm trying to find the name right now of this one this is the cutaway tags and this is the summer and it's just a super pretty sorry <laughs> I was out of frame um, it's just a really pretty um, it cuts out the shape and then you could do a sentiment here, just a focal point on a card. You could put some things behind it. You can make a shaker out of it. Um, and this was only, this is $8. I don't think that's, I don't think that their die cuts are that outrageous. Um, some of them are cheaper than others, but um, yeah, I just, I thought that was so pretty and hopefully maybe I'll do some cuts here coming up and maybe share those. Um, the next thing that I ordered, oh, I did something. So this is one of their scenics, and this is um, the everyday scene. And so this goes in, they have a few different things. And last year I ordered a number of these. I didn't order this one. So if you go on their website, you can see like this is a part of a tree, and you can build these on top of each other and put them under domes. Or you could put them on the front of the card as a circle, focal point, but you can build these little scenes with it. Um, they're really neat. Um, I'm trying to think if I can find the actual name of it. Just realizing I ordered two of the same pie, which I'll show you next, which is just fine. <laughs> but it's, how do I do this all the time? Um, actually, I'll wait to show those because that's kind of something else. This is um, a round off edgers die. So this cuts the round edge. You can either do an A2 hor um, horizontal or vertical portrait or landscape. And I thought these are kind of pretty. I like the stitching detail on a couple of them. And we have some really nice samples too of that. Love this tag die, This these tags. Um, these are with love tags, one. And I, I just really liked the shape of these. And I really, I was just going to get the tags and then I decided to go ahead and get the, sorry for the glare here, 
the stamp set that goes with them. And I love their stamp sets and they're always bigger than they look in the picture, but I thought it was something I could get some use out of. I have been, as I said, I started sewing and crocheting and I did like make some afghans and some pillows this year that I gave away and it would be kind of fun to have a little tag and you can always print all that stuff out, but um, I just decided to treat myself because their stamp sets are a little, the bigger stamp sets are a little more expensive, but um, the next thing that I got, they have both states. I live in Minnesota. I'm from North Dakota originally, and there's South Dakota. They come in sets of three, I think. And I really liked the little die. I have a silhouette. I could cut these, but I'm thinking I want to cut some felt and do maybe some fabric with these. So I decided to get the die and see if that works. But anyway, I thought that was, these are really, I think these are only Four, yeah, they're normally, I think, only $4, so not bad. Um, and then I splurged on this little set. <laughs> this is um, the City Scene It's, and it comes with a bunch of dies. And you can kind of see all the... Oh, I'm tapping on my uh, stamp set like it's going to focus instead of my... <laughs> and there might be too much glare, sorry. Um, but I love the city buildings and... The double decker bus, the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm assuming that's the Empire State, maybe. Um, and then again, yeah, there's just a lot of cutouts there, and they are bigger than if you just kind of look at the size of those buildings. That you can see that they're bigger than a picture. Um, and then this goes with a set that I got last year. Um, it's about life on the farm, and I got a little barn set for their little petites. Um, so I think these are kind of cute, especially with the little one around. We do a lot of farm stuff. So um, next um, is this is a splurge too, but um, this was the. I want to, it's the petal box die. I think that was, this was new this year or last year. I can't remember. Um, but it's really pretty. You cut out two of these and then it has little tags that go with it. And it makes the, just the most beautiful little petal box. So some projects with those. I love to do teacher gifts and I never film them. I always am like last minute doing like, 12 to 15 <laughs> items and then I take them into the teachers with little treats and I never film them because I just want to get them to see teachers because I'm so excited and um, so I need to be better about that but maybe I'll use this die to do a little little treat box here for Easter. Um, next um, I have been and I will come on in another video this is the one I ordered two of. So silly. <laughs> that was uh, anyway, um, they, their ordering was really challenging this year. Like I could not get in the website and my cart was a mess because I had put a bunch of stuff in it beforehand and I didn't empty out what I really didn't need. But anyway, um, these are, I used, I, I got into a little bit of their felt stitching this year and I love the paper tray, tray ink stitch dies. Um, this is a medallion shape that you can do so many things with. You just have to go on their website and look to see all the options. But um, they have a key fob that I want to use this on, but you could put this on just anything um, to decorate it. And it's, I now have two of them. <laughs> so, um, and then the other one that I got, um, I will come back again, like I said, and um, this is the circle set and I bought the wrong one last year it was just a circle with the holes and but it also cut the circles out I wanted to just do the circles so that I could make some coasters with it I've done the square ones that way and um, I thought it was a good time to get this die so anyway that is my haul that is my rambling video <laughs> I'm out of practice thank you those of you who have stuck with me and are still subscribers and still watching my videos, I appreciate it. Um, I do want to come on and make some more. I'm 
uh, just kind of getting back into things a little bit. And um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.